Hey guys, it's JT, and welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We're back in my house, and it's time to read Zelda's diary, Zelda's journal. Not diary, it's a journal. Let's go. After the calamity, I asked myself how to rebuild, and set out across Hyrule in search of an answer. I saw collapsed buildings, lost cities. The damage was far worse than I had imagined. But as I watched the people and heard their stories, I was convinced all was not lost. The people's spirits were not broken. They and the strong wills are Hyrule's greatest treasure. They are the ones who will rebuild, and my, contribu and my contribution to their efforts will be to protect them while they do so. Next page. As part of Hyrule's reconstruction, we've built a school in Hitino Village. It's the largest Hylian village with its sprawling bountiful land. There are so many children living here that it seems an ideal place to found a school. I've recruited Simon from the Research institu Institute to teach there. He was Pro's assistant for years, which makes him well-equipped to deal with the needs of quirky children. <laughs> He's dealt with Pora for so long, you know? <laughs> I'll be overseeing the school for a while myself to keep an eye on the students. I commissioned Bolson, who taught his trade to Hudson of Hudson Construction, to construct the school for us. He seemed deeply moved by the request. This would be his final job in Hitano Village before he sets off on a journey. I had him add a secret room to my house, one that won't appear in the plans. It's dim, but humidity and temperature controlled, so it's very comfortable. It's proven to be very useful while I'm working alone and need to concentrate. Can we find the secret room? <laughs> Working in the school has been moving along smoothly, but a major problem recently reared its head. We don't have enough teachers. Simon is interviewing people, but he hasn't found a good fit yet. I like to hire someone intelligent, educated, and capable of earning the children's trust. Nurturing our children is an extension of our duty to this land. We shape our future by the way we shape their path. I hope to see sterling members of our community. He comes to the village and take up their mantle as their teacher. Okay. Uh, mountain. That might be the Temple of Time. And that's the exact same picture. Huh. There's like horse maintenance stuff. Where's the secret room? This must be it. There's nothing there. Zelda's secret well. Yo. That's neat. Well worn hairband. Wait. Tie back my hair.
Uh, okay, so there's a bit of headgear to the to the set, so I can I can tie it back. That's pretty neat. Now we're on to Zelda's diary. <laughs> Though the calamity is over, its scars remain. A mountain of problems stands before us even as we begin to rebuild. No matter where I go to offer aid, Link remains at my side. A kindness that has taken a visible toll on his clothing. That's why I've put an order in for a new and improved champion's tunic just for him. Can't wait to see the look on his face when I surprise him with it. I've hid it in the throne room, so we won't find it until after our investigation. Even he would never expect that the torches are the key. In the throne room of Hy- I have to go to Hyrule Castle? Zelda, why? I don't want to go to Hyrule Castle. It's scary. It's scary now. Anything in the water? No. Why you gotta do this to me, Zelda? Uh... Well, it depends. How easy is it, actually, to get into... Into, a um, Hyrule Castle. So that's something I gotta check. And then maybe, possibly... I'll, I'll give it a go. But for now, it's morning. So let's go to school, shall we? Frog. Go to school. Alright, to school we go. To receive a lesson from Simon. This and Strixhaven are the only times that I'm willingly going to school. <laughs> just what road... Just what road led Hyrule to becoming the place that it is today? I believe that in order for children to have a bright future, they must first learn about the Calamity. I'd be pleased if you joined us for today's lesson, Link. From morning till noon. I think I gotta wait a bit longer. Uh, school usually starts at eight ish in theory. I don't know, will the AI make the children come to the school? Hmm. When? I want to sit in on the lesson. The children are coming! The AI is making them go to school! Oh, that's great! Dude, I fucking love this game, man.
All right, class, everyone take your seats. Everyone is here. Oh, fucking... Simon? Simon, I... So... <laughs> Where does it start? Oh, no, he's... Yeah. Okay, here we go. A whole... Y'all better learn something. Y'all better be taking notes. There'll be a pop quiz after this. Today's class will be a history lesson. The story of Hyrule is deeply intertwined with the Calamity, and that is no exaggeration or embellishment. The Calamity has been visited upon the land of Hyrule several times before. It was sealed away 10,000 years ago by the sacred princess and the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness. Isn't that just a fairy tale? Over time, history and legend sometimes blur together. All this stuff about 10,000 years ago and such, who cares? You got any pictures of proof to back up this so-called 10,000 year calamity? It's no fairy tale, I assure you. These are real historical events. This is a problem, I'll need to show them some kind of depiction of the calamity from 10,000 years ago. Otherwise this lesson is over before it began. I'm sorry Link, this isn't how I thought the lesson would go. If I had more foresight, I'd have borrowed the screen depicting the Calamity from Lady Ampa's Hall. Kakariko Village, where the hall is located, is also with a Kluda, but it's far too far for the Northwest for a casual visit. When they could show these children a detailed image of the screen depicting the Calamity, I think they'd understand. Hey, hold on, hold on. I'm going, I'm going. I will save... I will save school. I will save, I will save your class. Don't worry. I will grab the 10,000 year old depiction. From, uh, from, 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 from Pius Place. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. We're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it, fam. We're going. Gotta go, gotta go. Let's do something that I never thought I'd be doing. Assisting with education. Wait, that's just my... Variant helpful guide to subclasses. Uh-oh. Where is it? Here it is! Okay, hold on. There you are. Alright. No, come on. Come on. Back at to Tano Village. Let's save the school.
Gotta go. Gotta get there before noon. Because class ends at noon. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. <sighs> so, uh, for this class, we'll be going over the Calamity again. Let's start by reviewing our last lesson. Ah! Mr. Simon, can you prove any of this? Oh. Isn't it more likely that over time, history and legend started to blur together? Are we still talking about the stuff that happened 10,000 years ago? Ah. Can you point to any paintings or images that actually show there was a calamity 10,000 years ago? Jesus. These kids are like YouTube commenters. Fuck. Ah. <sighs> I have a picture to show. Here you are. What's this? A screen depicting the calamity. C class, please take note here. This is a rare opportunity to see a primary source regarding the Calamity. Hey, and you, you know what it also shows? The Divine Beasts. Where the fuck are they? Wow, this looks like the real thing. The so legend was true. That's amazing. You know, seeing this makes it feel like it might have happened yesterday. Because <laughs> it did. Well, technically a hundred years ago, but you know. <laughs> well, if you got documented proof, that's good enough for me. Go on, Mr. Simon, tell us the rest of the story about the Calamity. Ah, of course. Thank you so much, Link. My lecture about the Calamity might run long, but I hope you'll stay for it anyway. Tell me all about it. Now. Y'all better be taking notes. There'll be a pop quiz after this. The Calamity has visited this land of Hyrule several times over. However, 10,000 years ago, there were divine beasts. Fucking exactly! Built by the Sheikah used their, using their advanced technology. Each of them was controlled by a skilled pilot as well. With a sword that seals the darkness and the power of the secret princess, the ancient hero stopped the calamity. Hello. Oh, you can see the kid. I think the, uh, the girl on the far left is like slowly falling asleep. I saw her. I think it looked like she was nodding off there a bit. For a long while after that, the lands of Hyrule knew peace. By the time when the people forgot forgot about the calamity was the moment it returned to menace them once more. <gasps> Tell us more. When did this all happen? This all happened about a hundred years ago. It began with an oracle prophesying the calamity's return. The royal family took their cues from the legends of the past. They found and excavated the divine beasts. Skilled members of the Rito, Goron, Zora, and Gerudo peoples were selected to pilot them. They were called the Champions. With the wielder of the sword that seals the darkness and the sacred princess, all of the pieces from the legend were in, pe were in place. Uh, but this time, the calamity would not be bested so easily. Did, did something happen? Sadly, the sacred princess was unable to awaken the holy power within her. The divine beasts were taken over by the calamity. Those selected to pilot them lost their lives in the process. Where still, the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness was badly hurt. Just when it all seemed lost, the naked princess came into her power and devoted her whole being to keeping the calamity at bay for 100 years. Is everyone following along so far? After spending 100 years dormant, the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness awakened. His wounds healed. And you're fucking looking at him, bro. He won back the divine beast with the help of several allies, including some of the champions' descendants. And in the end, the hero defeated the Calamity, and the Sacred Princess stopped the Evil One. Sorry, I got a little emotion there at the end. It's a true story, though. All that we have, our land, our lives, our civilization, we owe it to all those who fought for it through the centuries. Huh? Wow, I want to be like the ancient hero and give the next generation good lives, too. Ah, that went splendidly. Words cannot convey my satisfaction. And I couldn't have done it without you showing us the screen, Link. Once again, thank you so much for your assistance. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You should have something for your help. What this do? Cool. <laughs> With the new vegetables being developed, they're harvesting less rice these days. That's a shame, as it's a favorite of mine. You should taste it for yourself, Link. Speaking of rice, our next subject is home economics. I plan to use the occasion to talk of dishes that use highly in rice. E. Ah. 
Right. More school! Today's lecture is on home economics. Food is, su food is essential for our survival. A keen culinary sense can help you stay alive in this perilous world. I'd like to put a question to you all. What dish do you get by mixing Goron Spice with Hylian Rice and raw meat? Ah. Goron Spice is the hot stuff they sell in Goron City to the northwest, right? Northeast, right? If it's got Goron Spice in it, the answer can't be anything but curry. Ah. But the only other thing is raw meat, right? So obviously, the answer has to be meat curry. Oh. Yes, that's correct. That one might have been the simple side for all of you. How about this one, then? Take Goron Spice, Hylian Rice, and mix in Monster Extract. What do you get then? Monster what? And I'm Monster Parts only used for medicines. Yeah, if you try to cook with Monster Parts, it's a disaster every time. No one would eat curry made with monster stuff. I caught trick question. Hey, hey, settle down, children. Unless this may be too advanced. In fact, combining monster extract, go on spice and highly and rice makes monster curry. But judging from your skeptical faces, you won't believe me unless I can put a dish of it in front of you. Mm. I'd love to make some curry for them, but I don't know if I have any monster extract. I'm told they can be had in Terrytown up north in Akala. Oh. I'll grab some eventually. Well... I guess all that's left for me to do now is, um... Well... What do you say we rig an election? You're not wearing mushroom stuff. Do you have a, do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, Cece? <laughs> have a Hylian shrew. What's this? Something from CC? Yeah, pretty obvious by the look of it. You know, people keep talking up the CC brand stuff, but it never really clicked with me. I know the lady works hard, but most of us farmers around here aren't too precious about our clothes. Uh. Sure, thanks for the mushroom. That's, uh, mighty nice of you. Cool. One down. Yeah, we got three people there. Time to go invade some people's privacy. No one here. You are both wearing mushroom stuff. I don't need to bother you. You have a quest. Fabulous forever. What's the matter? You can tell me, weirdly handsome dude. <laughs> Why, thank you. I am a very handsome, I am a strapping young lad. Thank you. You look like you've been places. Sure, things are peaceful in the old village, but it's a jungle out there in the world. That's why I stick around here, checking out the scene, making sure no strangers put the moves on Miss Ivy. Wait, I mean, that's why I sure no strangers come in from outside to disturb the place. Ivy. Uh -huh. If you got the missus, always add the missus. Mrs. Ivy is the poster girl for the East Wind General Store. There's no problem if you want to talk to Mrs. Ivy. Just keep the naive, I just moved here and won't somebody show me around act to a minimum. Not that anyone could... Not that anyone could be as young guy or fashionese, fashionesque as me. By the way, quick question for you, big guy. What kind of present do you think would make Miss Ivy the Eastwind happy? I'm not asking for me, you understand. A friend of mine wanted advice, and I'm having a tough time with the answer. Obviously, I can't just go after it rightly. Let me know if you can think of something. Oh, wait. This is the same guy who, like, had the hots for the girl who ran the inn. Right? It's the same guy who, who I told had to collect crickets. Alright, this one is kitted out. However, this house is not. So whoever lives here, I gotta... You're wearing mushroom stuff. Y'all are wearing mushroom stuff. Oh! 
Ivy, hey. I need to talk to you co to complete a quest. Ignore how there's a fucking dragon in the background. Yeah? Welcome to Tino Village. Here for some sightseeing. The East Wind General Store is open for business. If you're here for Tino's fa fresh, famous fresh produce, you're in the right place. Oh, if you like this super cute CC hat. Ah. You did the store across the way, Ventus Clothing. They're featuring a new line of hats right now. Nice to see this village is the place to be. She's joining in so many tourists that her sales are going up too. Cece's putting a village on the map. What do you like? Huh? What do I like? Where did that come from? Um, mm, um, maybe frogs? Sure, why not? I like frogs. If I... It's the same thing again! <laughs> this guy could not catch a break. If I had a hundred half-footed frogs, I would be incredibly happy. So I couldn't think of anything, so I just told him what my dad likes instead. Hold on. I think I need to collect the first ten. So, how many frogs do I have? Seven. I'm almost there. Oh, I have fucking... Dude, you're a stalker. Get it? Oh. Stalker? Mushroom? Stalker? Never mind. I'm not trying to be rude, buddy, but... What are you doing with Miss Ivy from the general store? Sure, I noticed I've been checking her out for a long... I mean, a, a friend of a friend tipped me up. I talked to her. You want to ask what Mrs. Ivy likes? Right to her face? What's the idea? Uh-oh. Got to play it smooth. Can I guess I'm the one dying to know? Uh, then, so what is it? What does Miss Ivy want? I can't leave my friend's friend hanging. Frogs. She wants half-footed frogs. And a hundred of them in that. And that checks out. Mrs. Ivy's love for animals is one of the many charming things about her. Or so my friend's friend is always saying. It's a close one. I better play it smooth. Still, collecting a hundred five hundred frogs seems like a big driving for someone you love. Oh. Not if I'd help. You travel at times going to woods and caves all the time, right? That's just the kind of place where you can find frogs. You don't even have to go far. Huh? I didn't say anything, huh? <laughs> There's, uh, tunnels, oh. frogs. Alright, so I, I need three more. Yeah. However, I do want to go inside, because I'm pretty sure all major shops sell arrows. Yay! Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh. Cool. Oh. Oh. I will take all of them. I need a lot of arrows. Uh -huh. oh. Cool. I am up to 19. You hiding anybody upstairs that has not heard the good word about CC? No? Okay. Yeah. You're not decked out in CC. Let's uh. change decorations they've been putting out. Uh -huh. uh, sorry about that. Who visited here? A tourist. And Hitino is known for living off the land. Yada yada yada. Um, uh, da, da, da. Tied over the top of me and my son in law Wharton. Oh? Have a shroom. Oh? I, I was told I was told to give it to you. It is from Cece. Thank you kindly. This old folks don't know much about what's in now, you know. I'm happy to vote for whichever, for whoever. I'm happy to vote for whoever. Fucking this line. I'm happy to vote for whoever for mayor if I fix up the village real nice. Cool. You have a mushroom hat. I don't need to talk to you. Halt and identify yourself, suspicious guy. Okay, Tebow. Ewok. That's me, suspicious. Huh? You're suspicious? Y you <laughs> Yippee! You're the first actually suspicious guy I've met. I could tell as soon as I saw you. Oh, but I'm not supposed to talk to the suspicious ones. I'm not suspicious. Huh? You're not suspicious after all? Then I'll give you the gatekeeper's greeting. Um, how did it go again? 
You've come to Hatino Village, home of fine produce and dyed goods. Our vegetables are the best around and we're at the forefront of fashion. So I said, alright, my dad went to Too bad he's still a lookout landing. Your dad's a lookout landing? It's kind of sad. Alright, two down, six to go. Where? Ah, people who have yet to be introduced to the God Water Sissy! Like you! You are not wearing mushroom gear! I'm sorry? Who the fuck are you calling a freak? You're a freak! Just cause I have a fucking bionic arm doesn't make me a freak. I fucking- I saved the world a few years back. Show some fucking respect. I'm legitimately livid right now. How fucking dare you? Thank you. Thank you. You should take this and not ask any questions. Cool. Oh. <laughs> How can I ever forget? <sighs> oh. <laughs> this isn't working. <laughs> I was wondering whether it was possible there are matches size eggs. Oh. Hmm. Have a shroom. You brought this from Cece? Wow, uh, thank you. There's a lot of ways you can prepare mushrooms. They're tasty on their own, too. I just like them, okay? That's, that's when they're food. When you make them fashion, you'll lose me. It wasn't so long that doing stuff that was completely unheard of here. The farm families don't know what to make of it either. Can you blame them? I stew your egg. Do you have anyone inside who hasn't heard the good word of our Lord and Savior, Sisi? No. you from before. I'm sorry for all the commotion you got mixed up in. But since we're both involved now, could you give me a little advice? Sure! <laughs> I love that it was all caps. Ah, I should have expected that. The thing I need your advice on is my sister. It's about Cece. Lately, she'd been sneaking off alone in the middle of the night. I don't think it's anything sinister, but the election is soon, and I don't want any last-minute surprises to hurt her chances. So I'd like you to tell my sister, find out where she's going, what she's up to, and get back to me. I've tried following her myself, but she spotted me right away. I really got nearful about it, too. If you succeed in finding out what she's doing, I can reward you, of course. You're the only one I can ask for help. I don't want any of the villagers finding out until I know what's going on. Help me out, please. Okay. Building condemned, do not enter. Hmm. Alright. So, three down, five to go. Unsure where the other people are. While I'm here, oh, but it's not on open flame. Hey, hold on. There you go. Okie dokie. 
Let's actually do some cooking. Um... Hold. Cook. <laughs> Energizing fried egg and rice. Incredible. Okay. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Steamed fit. Did I use a fish? There's two mushrooms, two stem bulbs. I immediately forgot where. A snail is not a fish. Probably a waste. <laughs> Holy shit! Restores hearts damaged by gloom. So it can it can fix up to plus fifteen. Damn. Glow. Glow. Can make glowy stuff. Anyway. Many people who have not heard good word of CC. Have a shroom. I don't care that you don't care about fashion. Vote for vote for vote for the fashion. 
Okay. Okay. Four left. Four left. And also... Is that? Sticky lizard. Hmm. Fuck you, sticky lizard. Oh, come on. When you do that in Breath of the Wild, you can pick them up afterwards. Eightfold blade, <gasps> incredible. I like like stone. Stick a lizard. Ah, oh, fuck you. Dude. Glowing cave fish. <gasps> wow. Go to the mind's eye. Get out of here.
bum. Where does this lead? Bum. Ten, there we go. Oh, not for the quest. Hey. Secret bomb. Oh, this is secondary. Well. Get down here. Oh. A long stick. Hmm. Ah, come on. There's like loot up there and shit. Back by the other well. Hmm. Let's pop back up, shall we? Yes, sir. Finished our side quest. Wait a second. I can figure out where CC goes at night. If I, it's one a.m. I probably already missed her.
There's not even here. Oh, fuck. This, oh, here it is. Here you go. <laughs> Mushroom, yay. who live here the house is not kitted out I don't know where they are Morning, it's a morning. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I don't know where. People are supposed to talk to her. Uh, I'm giving stuff to half of them. And just take one. Yeah, I fucking saved the world. Can I at least get a? Can I at least get a discount? I don't know where the people are supposed to be talking to. He's wearing a mushroom hat. Just end the episode and look it up. That's what I'm gonna do. That's gonna be the end of this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you want to. It's entirely up to you. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.